uh, there's quite a large list of prerequisites that you should go through before attempting an in-place upgrade. Here I'm just proving it's Windows Server 2012. I'll put the link to that information below this video so you can run through things like backup solutions, licensing, etc. But your first step should be to make sure that your source Windows Server 2012 or 2012 R2 machine is fully updated. Now, we're not just talking about Windows updates, don't forget your Windows applications if you're updating extra installed applications they may also need to be patched any third party applications may also need to be patched so that it's fully supportable windows server 2019 now there is some information that microsoft recommends that you collect before the upgrade the first one is the output of system info.exe so i'm just going to pipe that into a text file second piece of information that you require is the IP details so I'm just going to do an IP config forward slash all and I'm also going to pipe that into a text file so I've got a copy of that the last two pieces of information that you need are the contents of some registry keys so I'm just going to run reg edit and navigate to HK local machine software Microsoft Windows NT current version and the two keys that we need to garner that information from are build lab x so i'm just going to open notepad so i can copy the contents of those keys in uh, not that one build lab x there it is there and i'm going to copy that into my text file so if god forbid something breaks and i need to log a call to microsoft it will ask me for this information and the second one is addition id that information in there so let's save a copy of that and I'll just drop that in my user profile folder Splendid. So those three text files I'm going to need to copy to a, another location because obviously if this server breaks and I can't boot it, I'm not going to have access to that. So the first two were in uh, Windows System 32 because that was the default directory we were at when we run those commands at command line. And the register keys we dropped in our user profile so now the simplest way to to copy these is just to drop them onto a folder that I have on the network where I dump all my rubbish cool there's our three files and our four bits of information saved just in case I don't need those anymore so I'm going to need to present my uh, server 2019 install media to this machine and run setup exe Set the default to download updates. Just just a quick check of this. I think it's like a manifest check at this point. It doesn't actually download them until later on. Put in your Windows product key. Now you might not see this screen. I'm only seeing the screen because I'm using a retail version of Server 2019 from my MSDN. So if you're using volume license media, you might skip straight past this. Click next and select the version. I want desktop experience because I don't want a GUI front end. Read and understand the incredibly long end user license agreement and uh, click accept. 
we're doing an in-place upgrade so we want to keep personal files now this is the point where it actually pulls down any updates that server 2012 may require to update to 2019 or any files that uh, Microsoft deem necessary for the upgrade and then it's going to do a pre-flight check just make sure that it's happy you can see here it's having a bit of a moan about my um, monitor this is a, a, a VMware virtual machine and it's moaning about the uh, monitor I'm not concerned about that it's probably just telling me that because I'm using the Microsoft Windows update drivers instead of the VMware tools ones. then the update will start now this takes quite some time and as you can see on the screen here your machine will reboot some tower sometimes it probably took about an hour and a half when I did this on the test bench uh, this bit tends to take the longest so as you can see I sped it up dramatically for the sake of the video now all being well it should boot straight into Windows Server 2019 let's just make sure we can log on successfully so your password will remain unchanged if it's a domain member of course you use domain credentials oh. and just to prove it's not smoke and mirrors let's uh, make sure we are indeed running server 2019 there we are we're to oh. server 2019 data center And that is our in-place update carried out correctly. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Um, follow up on the link below the video for more information and come and visit us at pnetlive.com. Thanks very much.